Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Hype Fan Eagle. You already know, man, representing the Philadelphia Eagles by way of New Jersey. You already know, man. Can I get a bird call, y'all? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Well, however I go, man. You already know, man. I got my boy, Young Jersey, with me. You feel what I'm saying? He's another Philly fan, you know what I'm saying? We on the same spectrum, but sometimes we can get on the opposite side of the spectrum yep. when it comes to Philly. So we do debate, but a lot of things we do agree on. So don't be surprised if you hear us get into a debate. One of these episodes, it might not be this episode, it might not be tomorrow's episode or whenever, but we will get in uh, get in a debate. But we got a lot to discuss, you know what I mean? We're not going to hold y'all up for long, you know what I'm saying? Because right now, this is a, this is a, a joint effort between me and my brother right here. So we're gonna try to get into a couple of a couple of these things. And um uh towards the end of the video, I will uh screen share um uh some of some of the free agents and everything like that, especially on the defensive side. Uh uh people that we could go after and everything like that, man. So stay tuned. So first and foremost, how's everything going, uh my brother? Uh, everything is good, man. You know, just doing me on the grind, you know, nothing new. You already know, man. You already know, man. If y'all haven't yet, please subscribe to my Twitter page at um, Hype Eagle One. I think it's Hype Eagle One. I'm going to put everything in the description down below, man. Put everything in the description down below. Also, man, you can follow my podcast, the Holla at Your Boy podcast. You can follow my other YouTube page if y'all want to watch reaction videos and everything. You know I got to plug myself in. So, you know, um, everything going to be at the bottom, man. Everything going to be in the, uh, in the description, man. Let's get to it. Also, Shout out to my guy, the GOAT, man. He be uh in my comments and everything like that. I appreciate you. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy, the GOAT. Uh, let's get into it, man. I want to start off by saying, um, you know, uh, the news broke. I know that I know this supposed to be for Philadelphia uh, Eagles, man, but the news broke that Tom Brady has unretired. Tom Brady unretired, people. So he's back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Is that a surprise to me? No, it's not a surprise because it's Tom Brady. Like, I, I feel like, first of all, I feel like he he didn't go out the way he wanted to go out. Everybody was basically blowing it up. Everybody, everybody blew up his retirement before he even got a chance to blow it up. He didn't even really, he didn't even fully have a proper farewell. And he's a baller. He's a football player. You know what I'm saying? Like, he played, what, 21, 22 seasons already, something like that. So, I'm not I'm not surprised that he came back. You know, what I mean, he was already hinting at it. He was already going back and forth saying that, you know, he was unsure still and, you know, yada, yada. So I'm I'm not surprised at it, man. Are, are you surprised at it? Nah, I'm not. I would say. I'm not surprised, but a little bit because. I was put more of I'm not because that's the, you know, like Tom Brady, he, he's hungry, but. I am slightly just because I'm like, uh, yo, you already, you done did it. Like, you know, I'm thinking like, yo, he's just going to be like, yo, I already did it. You know, we just be tired how it is. Mm -hmm. But I'm not surprised because the way he went out, I know he probably want to go out a little more better. You know, that loss to the Buccaneers, his team was injured and everything. So I I kind of figured out that's the reason why he, you know, he's trying to make that another run, you know, so he could go out in a, in a different way. Like, you know, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to think about it. They re-signed, well, they franchise tag uh, Chris Godwin. So they got yeah. him back. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with Leonard Fournette. Uh, being the fact that Tom Brady uh, is coming back, Grunt probably most likely would come back. We haven't heard anything about that yet. Um, yeah. Mike Evans is still under contract. So, you know, um, I feel like this, man. I feel like he's trying to set a record to where – it's going to be a long time before anybody break it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wanted – he. It, it's going to be at least another 50 years before somebody try to break his record. And I feel like he's going for that. And also, with the rings, you know what I'm saying? He already got seven. If he get eight rings, that's going to be unheard of in, in – period. It's going to be a long time before anybody in the NFL get eight rings. You know but what I'm he saying? I'm saying for an individual of him being a quarterback, he already got seven. That's still that's still like that's still unheard of, yo. That, that, yeah, that's still like, unheard of for a quarterback. That's still unheard yeah, of. But yeah. to have eight though, like you you yeah. holding up all four fingers with with rings on it. You know what I'm saying? You that 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 would mean that you got you got what he um he he went to the Super Bowl ten times. He won seven. He lost three. That would mean if he do get an eighth ring, he went to the Super Bowl. A, 
He would that mean he would have had to make go to the Super Bowl 11 times and won eight out of fucking wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Yo. If he win his eighth Super Bowl, yo, I don't care what nobody say, Spygate, all that stuff. Y'all, I don't he he is the GOAT, the GOAT. Yeah, yeah. The GOAT, period, man. So um go back to you know what I said originally. Um, I'm 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 not surprised. I'm not I'm not surprised that he came back. I'm not yeah. surprised at all. Um, let's get into a couple of signees real quick, man. Who 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 got signed over the weekend, man? Um, let me let, let, let me plug let me plug this uh page or whatever like that. Uh, if y'all got Instagram, y'all could go on Instagram and follow uh JPA Football. He give y'all updates or just just that team in general. They give y'all updates on you know rumors, what's trending, uh, the news or whatever like that. What's going on with NFL players? Also, they got a whole nother NBA site, but. I'm not even gonna plug that in because this is straight uh NFL right now. So we're gonna get it to a couple of people uh, who got signed and rumors and stuff like that. Um, so as y'all know, Russell Wilson got traded to the Broncos. That's that's last week's news right there. Uh Michael Gallup. Now, Michael Gallup just got signed to a five-year um uh 62 million dollar contract. That's good. He's a real good wide receiver for uh for the Cowboys, but he just got, you know, it's just his injury history. You know what I'm saying? Also, mm-hmm. they uh they uh traded Amari Cooper to the Browns. So now mm-hmm. he's the Cleveland Brown. They are the Cleveland Browns are uh suspected to release Jarvis Landry. You know what I'm saying? Listen, if y'all hear noise in the background, that's my kids. Y'all could ignore it and stuff like that. Y'all could ignore it. But um, mm-hmm. they are set to release Jarvis, uh Jarvis Landry, uh, which is uh he's still he still is a real good uh wide receiver. He's an uh an aggressive wide receiver. He needs to be on the right team with the right quarterback. He do have uh, a little bit of injury uh, injury history problem, but who doesn't at this point? You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't? So he's still a world, he's still a real good wide receiver. Um, who else, man? Uh, the Patriots re, uh, is re-signing uh, Devin McCourty to a one-year deal. You know what I mean? So he's off the market. Um, oh, snap. The Vikings just re-signed Kirk Cousins to a one-year deal, $35 mil- million fully guaranteed. So it was rumors saying that other teams was trying to look at him, but they just resigned him. You feel what I'm saying? As I as I spoken on Tom Brady, you know, um, he just he just announced that he he's coming out of retirement. Um, I want to get to the I want to get to the cake, but I'm not I'm not I'm not yet. I'm a, I'm gonna finish telling these people um, what's going on. It, there's rumors that Saquon Barkley would no longer be a New York Giant. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. You know, when I look at him and Miles Sanders, they 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 both are the same type of running back as far as they need to be, they need to be on the outside. You know, Miles Sanders, he could he could run between the tackles just a little bit more than Saquon, but nine times out of ten, their work is 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 productive on the outside. You know what I mean? So um, but he haven't really shown that, you know, he just came off an injury and stuff like that. Yeah. So um yeah, so that that that's another rumor that they trying to uh trade uh Saquon. Um wow, uh Cardinals are finalizing a a a, a three-year, a three-year uh deal with tight end Zach Ertz. So, you know, he's about to get signed with Arizona, which is good. Um who else? Hold up. Let, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Now um I kind of heard about um, Metcalf and Lockett trying to get traded. Um, they were saying some, I think, with Metcalf going towards the the Bills or something. I know it wasn't final, but I was hearing something yeah. about that. You know, um, I kind of, I kind of, um, if that do happen, I kind of, I kind of like that trade because the Bills dealing with the wide receivers that they, I think they had lost, and then um, filling in that spot. Yeah, you know, they definitely would. Um, Josh, um, he definitely would need that. That that that. That wide receiver and Metcalf, he he kind of aggressive, and I think they need that, you know. So I'm I was good. I'm good with everything that I heard with the draft. You said only I'm not really good with is the the Amari Cooper, you know. Um, not an Amari Cooper to Cleveland. The only thing about that, for real, for real, is they don't have the quarterback for Amari Cooper. Not only that, saying. it. It, it may it may be it may be a double edged sword to this because Amari Cooper productivity isn't isn't the highest either. Yeah. Now that was his that was his problem his productivity. 
He's one of the top five best route runners in the NFL period, probably number two. But his yeah. productivity, as far as as far as like, he shows up, he shows up home games, but he doesn't show up in away games. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's 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 just that. You know what I'm saying? He can, he could easily be a top five wide uh, wide receiver in the NFL. But yeah, yeah. it's a hit or miss with uh, Amari Cooper. You know what I mean? So I call it a double-edged sword, sword with him going to Cleveland because Baker Mayfield and, and, and Amari Cooper, like, who is going to show up out of the two? Is it going to be yeah. Amari Cooper? You know what I mean? He might have some games where he show up and he might have some games where he down. Baker yeah. Mayfield might have some games where he show up and he might have some games where he's just throwing like, four picks in the game. So it's like a double-edged yeah. sword between that. Now I, I I agree what you say, but then I disagree a little bit of what you mm-hmm. said. The fact that um I still feel like a Marvin Cooper is a clutch receiver. I think the being on the Cowboys, I think that's what kind of was messing his 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 um consistency and his flow of the game because the Cowboys was going through, especially on the offense, they was they was going through a lot of even going down with the um, they coach with the plays calling and Dak with, with his throwing mm-hmm. and then like they line the offensive alignment. It was just a lot dealing with that team. I think he just he just need that that franchise organization that fits him. And I heard that before the Browns, I heard that they was look the Ravens was looking at him or something like that. And yeah, I kind of yeah. I kind of like that him being on the Ravens with um Marquise Brown and then Marvin Cooper and then you got um Mar Jackson. That would that, that would yeah. But like I feel you, like you know, they probably didn't fully go in deal, probably dealing with money wise, and probably you know after the years, his his like you said, his 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 you know his effort and all that probably didn't look like it was showing. So they probably just yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. didn't go with it and just went to the Browns. But I think he still got that clutch receiver. I think he just need that team to fit him. So and that was one of the main reasons why at the time it was Oakland. That was one of the main reasons why John Gruen cut um cut Mari Cooper because like they said his motor doesn't run high you know what yeah. I mean? he doesn't have that type of motor he doesn't have that Julio Jones motor he doesn't have that Larry Fitzgerald motor you know what I mean to, just to keep going all out he doesn't have that so that's one of the reasons why Oakland at the time had cut him in whatever and that's how he got yeah. with, with the Cowboys but yeah. um let's let, let, let's talk this Philly talk man we we, we got our listen if y'all want to see more about the signees and everything if y'all got Instagram Follow JPA football, you know what I'm saying? They ain't paying me, they ain't plugging me. I'm just doing this off the strength because I follow them and they, you know what I mean? They they do good reports and all that. But we about to get into a couple of things. And by the way, everybody was campaigning for Amari Cooper to come to Philly. I could have t- I I could have said that he wasn't coming to Philly. It was, it was no way in the world. Just think about it like this, y'all. Like I'm in a whole Eagles community on Twitter. Think about it like this, y'all. And I already told you this. What makes y'all think Jerry Jones is going to trade Amari Cooper to another NFC East team, a whole nother rival team? I don't know yeah. why. I don't know why they was campaigning Amari Cooper to come to Philly anyway. They be doing. They be doing things like this, even with Russell Wilson. Y'all think Russell Wilson was going to come to a team that's that's still in, in rebuild mode, like yeah. that's still a young team? No, Russell Wilson is established already. He don't want to come to a team where he got to start all over. No, yeah, yeah. Even, 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 even with the rumors that came out that we tried to package a deal for Russell Wilson, you think he was going to take that deal? No, he went to a team that was already stacked. They already got Melvin Gordon. They already got a nice, a nice uh, second or third year running back. They already got Cortland Sutton. They are like they stacked over there, especially on the defensive side. So, what makes y'all think he's going to come to a team that don't have a defense that's not even, that's not even uh, established? And still trying to figure it, and still trying to find themselves on the offensive side. Like we got mad holes on both sides. So what makes y'all think he he was going to come and be our savior? No, he was going to end up having another Jalen Hurts season like he like Jalen Hurts had last year. No disrespect to Jalen Hurts. I, I listen, I be campaigning for him, but he was going to have another season like how Jalen Hurts had, mad empty calories, throwing it to who? You know what I mean? Because we would have gave up everything just to get. Uh, 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 Russell Wilson. So who who he was going to throw it to, and then he would have had to play a lot of comeback because uh we 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 wouldn't have a defense. So they would have been like Russell Wilson is overrated. Yeah, been, you know what I'm saying. Like it, 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 it just didn't make no sense. Like they yeah. was they was actually campaigning for Russell Wilson, putting 
you know, putting his put his body in an Eagles uniform. Like that was it was a it was a lot of memes going yeah, on. Like, yeah. It was just it was just ridiculous to me, man. It was just ridiculous, man. Uh let's get into this um Deshaun Watson real quick. Uh uh for those who don't know, you know, Deshaun Watson, let, let, let me let me get it straight before I spew out anything real quick. Um, I'm not gonna say that he he got found innocent. I I just want to report this the right way. They, they drop a lot of his a lot of charges, but he still got some charges on. Um, yeah, 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 and, and and that's exactly what it, that's exactly what it is. So they dropped a lot of charges, and he still got some charges. I want to say, um, okay, Deshaun Watson will not face any criminal charges. So that's just it. He still got charges pending, but he just won't be facing any criminal criminal charges. Yeah. You know what I'm so um, so yeah, man, um. As far as Howie Roseman and everything like that, they I from 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 the reports and from the reports that I heard, they actually you know hired an investigate uh, investigating team or whatever and sent it out there to actually investigate the Sean Watson's case, and um that that'll let me know you know that they they fully don't really believe in Jalen Hurts, they be lying, bro, like. Oh, Jalen Hurts is our guy, you know, we fully believe in him, yada, 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 so on and so forth. But what makes me think that y'all don't fully believe in Jalen Hurts is the fact that y'all tried to package a deal for Russell Wilson and y'all sent an investigative team to go investigate the Sean Watson's case. They be styling, bro. <laughs> they be styling. And I, and, and I get it. I get it. You got to say the political correct answer when you in front of all of these media cameras yeah. and everything like that. I understand. But come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, how you feel about that? Uh, I um, I feel the same way you feel, and uh, and I want to, and, and it's the same thing with the Watson Wilson case. I don't even think it would be good for Watson uh, to come to us. I mean, because he's he just he he's he's a good quarterback, and he he deserves some of the stabbings a little bit too. Like you know, I was saying like they were saying about the Seahawks looking at him. That mm -hmm. might would have been um something yeah. good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then before I heard about the Tom Brady, I was like, he might could be with the Bucks, but you know, Tom Brady, you know, he he came back, so that's that's out of the question. So, but um, he just he need. I think he he should have that a uh, team that's that's on a feet, you know, so he could continue his leg his franchise and his legacy. Coming to us, we 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 still we building, we getting better, but um, Jalen Hurts already know what we got. You know, he already know what what what, what comes with, with being with the Eagles. He already got this man. Yes, he need he needs to got a lot of stuff he's working on. I believe that's what they're doing because when you look up on the on the Eagles, they they even said that everything that they know that hurts me is exactly what we're yeah, talking about. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. I'm pretty sure they're working on that. And like he already got the chemistry. He they already say he's a leader. He already got he he knows it. He knows what needs to go. He knows the chemistry, trying to bring a quarterback and then redo everything and then on an off season. And then it just, I, I think it, it just won't be, it won't be the right choice to move. Like uh, just, it won't be the it right won't. choice, yo, because you know I mean? We're we going to keep it short on this one, but it won't be the right choice because first of all, either quarterback, Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson, we would have had to give up, a, you know, pretty much, pretty much 70% of our draft capital. If yeah. not, if not 65, 70% of our draft capital. That man, he would have came, to our team doing the same thing Jalen Hurts did last year, which is throwing it to pretty much nobody. Anybody yeah. that would have came to the Eagles, we would have had, you know, especially that high, that high cal caliber of type of quarterback, we would have had to give up a lot for any quarterback like that. And we would, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it would never been yeah. like a rebuilding stage. The thing is, let this man develop, right? And mm -hmm. I want to say this for all my Twitter people out there. Let this man develop. We got the draft capital. Let's build around him. Let's get people. Listen, we got them. We got one of the most best draft capitals right now in the NFL right now to this date. We need to actually get some free agents, build around Jalen Hurts. Let's make this thing healthy. Let's fill in the potholes, right? I'm not saying that we're going to be a Super Bowl team, but what I'm saying that we're going to be established going into the 2022 season to where though we can actually get over that hump and get over the first round playoffs. Let's yep. start building it. Let's start covering these potholes and make the road smooth. Let's try to do right. that. Let's try to take advantage of our draft capital instead of going out getting the quarterback and we won't have nothing. We don't, we ain't going to have nothing. 
Yep. Let's continue to move forward. Don't restart. Don't refresh everything. Continue to move forward. If you fresh exactly. it, you got to do everything all over again, man. Exactly. That's how I feel. Man. Exactly, man. So, yeah, like I said, man, we're going we gonna to keep everything short for y'all, man. We're doing this for y'all right now, man. Oh, uh, Let's talk about Jalen Hurts right now, yo. So, it was a big thing going on that, you know, all Jalen Hurts uh, removed uh, from all his socials, the quarterback of Philadelphia Eagles. So it was a whole uproar, you know, they was going crazy. You know what I mean? I got cursed out because as I told you, I reposted that I retweeted that. And I say, yo, what y'all think about him removing socials? I got cursed out on Twitter. They, they, they handled me properly. You know what I'm saying? Which is, which is all cool. Come to find out his agent tweeted. He never had that to begin with, but y'all can go ahead with y'all storyline. He never had the, he never had that in his bio period. So it was somewhere where it was made up. Like somebody must have made that up or whatever like that. He never had in any of his socials the, the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. That's what his agent said. Mm. He always had he always had where he was from in his bio. So it was it, it was a whole uproar, man. It was a whole uproar. But just to get your opinion, your honest opinion, and we we're gonna keep it brief. How you really feel about you know Jalen Hurts going into the 2022 season? Because my hopes are high. But at the same time, if there is, I'm not giving him no excuses though. If he if, if yeah. he messed up, I mean, if he messes up, cool. Let's go after a quarterback or whatever we're going to do. Yeah. But I'm still giving him that room to improve. A lot of people aren't giving him that room yeah. to improve because this a, this will only be his second year under the offense. So, how you really feel about Jalen Hurts? Nah, I mean, I, how I feel about him, like you know, how we've been we've been talking about is that. He's. I feel like he had the potential, and he had that in him, and it it just take an organization to stand by him in the right mindset, the right coach to bring that out. If 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 Sirianni and you know um Howie and all the um organization could build and coach the right coach with him around him, give him that momentum in the season so he could show it. Then I think he will progress. Like you know, yeah, yeah. he he wasn't for for to be to be inexperienced and to grow and still pull us to the playoff. You know that means that shows something. That means not that means uh, some shows a lot of resilience, a lot of push. You know, and I feel like he understand his effort and, and, and understand his 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 flaws and everything. Cause um one thing that um Nick said that. He said one thing he know about Jalen Hurts, he he's always open of of correction. You know, he he yeah, knows yeah, yeah, he's yeah, willing yeah, to yeah, learn. Yeah. So that's a good thing to start, you know. Um, so I feel like he had that, you know, he he's he's a he's a playmaker. I know it's a lot of things dealing with his accuracy, a lot of things, his 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 decision making, you know, and and reading, reading, but that's that's not hard to build. It just it's it's all it just comes with being hungry and putting the effort to to learn and to see and, and not doing too much. You know, stay stay in your progression, do your check downs. And I believe like I, I believe you got the potential to overcome that and, and show that going on to twenty the twenty two season to twenty three. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And like I said, man, I feel like he got the drive, man. He's he listen, he's a very motivated guy. I saw this in college. I saw this, you know, coming into the season, the way he talked last year after every press conference. He, he, he got the drive, man. You know what I'm saying? He got the drive. You know what I mean? It, it, it's I, I feel like it's in him, but he got to prove it to a lot of people. This is another yeah. prove it year for Jalen Hurts, man. So, yeah. yeah, man. Listen, man, if y'all hear the kids in the background, man, <laughs> they're, 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 you know, them them the kids, man. You know hey, what man, I mean? That, that's, the realness, that, that's the realness of it. That's yeah, the realness. yeah, that's the realness of it, man. You know what I mean? We trying to – listen, man, it's all about work. So, we – we trying to squeeze in work the whatever way we can, man. Whatever way we can. Yeah. All right. So to wrap everything up, like I told y'all, I'm gonna screen record a little bit of the um of the uh free agents that's out there. You know what I mean? And me and him gonna do like a a a, a fake mock drive. It ain't an actual mock drive, but we're gonna do the people who we think that you know we should go after and stuff like that. We're gonna keep it brief. It's gonna be our little closing uh video, whatever like that. So. Just stay tuned for this. You, 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 you dig, you dig. Shout out to all my where, where my birds at. You got, you got to do a bird noise, man. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, here you go. Let me share this. Let me let me let me know if you see this, bro. Yeah, I see it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start at the top. All right, y'all. We're gonna start at the top real quick. Um okay, so here go OT. Uh we ain't we ain't really we ain't really too worried about OTs. We know we ain't gonna get Von Miller. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying he either might resign back with 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 the uh, Los An- Los Angeles Rams. Or would, he might go that would back. Be to excellent, but I feel you on that though. Yeah, yeah. JC Jackson, a DB. Now he's a free agent. He like if if we end up getting him, he gonna be wanting some bread. But that's gonna be good for Darius Slay on the other side. If yeah, we end up getting yeah. JC Jackson, you know what I'm saying that that that'll be cool. There was rumors that you know not I'm not even gonna say rumors. There was hints. There was hints that you know we could uh we might we might be able to pick him up. Chandler Jones, a defensive end. Now that's a real rumor that we might end up getting Chandler Jones. He's a free agent. He's good mm. coming off that edge. Because yeah. another rumor is the fact that we we thinking about Trey and Fletcher Cox. Oh damn. But Fletcher Cox is on the back end of his career. Oh snap, Chandler Jones too. He's 32. He's a 32. Wait, so age is starting to become an issue. Wait, so age is starting to become an issue. He's a good pass rusher, but after getting five sacks in the opening season last year, he cooled down in a big way. So even he'll be all right. So it might it might be an even thing because if we get if we end up trading Fletcher Cop and getting Chandler Jones, it's like a stalemate. Because I'm just reading this right here. He only got five sacks in the in, in, in the season opener. And then pretty much nothing after not, nothing after that. And uh, I remember when he was hot and he cooled down just like that. Um, if we could get Car- Carlton Davis, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, if we could get Marcus Williams now, and this is this is all free agents, uh, guys. So we just doing like a little fake draft or whatever, or who we could who we should or should not pick up. Marcus Williams from the New Orleans Saints is a real good safety. So let's just say we move on from Rodney McLeod and pick up Marcus Williams. I think that I think that's a real significant upgrade, honestly. Yeah. But I, out of all this pickup, we like I said before, we definitely need a linebacker. Like that now that is a fact. That is a fact. Right. I feel like we could draft the linebacker though, because um yeah. I don't I don't think it's uh too many uh linebackers in this uh yeah. in the free agents. Uh, uh, Allen Robinson, he might want an arm and a leg to uh, come to Philly, but um, I don't know if we're aiming at him. I mean, we should be aiming at him. Actually, we should be aiming at a lot of these wide receivers. But um, this is the thing, though. Let me go back on JPA uh, football real quick. Um, let me go back on JPA football. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? The church. Where you at? All right. Anyways, I can't find it right now because I'm just scrolling, trying to hurry up and find it. But there was rumors that you know, uh, I think New England and somebody else was looking at Allen Robinson. So I don't even know if he's on our radar. Um, Randy, uh, Randy, uh, Gregory, he's a good uh defensive end, but I don't, yeah. I don't think we're gonna be aiming at him. I don't think we're aiming at uh, uh, Campbell. I don't think we're aiming at him. Devondre Campbell. Um, Christian Kirk not bad. He's Christian Kirk not bad. The thing about it, though, is that we already got two wide receivers kind of similar to Christian Kirk, um, which is a, a developing Quez Watkins. And we got, if you want to say, uh, Jalen Rager, if he comes back, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I was about to say, though. You know, they, they, I, I would see they get rid of him and put Christian Kirk. Like, I could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but if we get rid of Jalen Rager, that might go against the cap because remember, he was a first round pick. So th- cutting him, that, like, that, that'd be a loss. Yeah, but he ain't, he wasn't playing like a first round dropping on. Nah, nah, definitely not. Um, Stefan Gilmore, I mean, at this point in his career, I still would put him on the other side of Slay. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he bet he better than anything we got now. Oh no, Stefan Gilmore pretty, yeah, he's pretty good though. Yeah, yeah. See, it say he isn't the same player from a few years ago, but the cornerback uh uh needling 
he said that he is looking for 15 million a year. I don't, I don't, I don't think we could give him 15 million a year just because of Darius Slade contract. But yeah. a guy like Quandre Diggs, if we could, if we could get him, sign him to a one year deal or something like that, that'd be tough. Yeah. I doubt if we get B Wax. Uh, that's the first. So when I saw him. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, the free agent. Yeah, because okay. more so like Russell Wilson, he want to go to an established team that's already Super Bowl ready. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, feel I, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like he yeah. people want to take a step back. Step back, yeah. Unless the money is right. Yeah. Tyron Matthew, same thing. You know what I'm saying? He he been to uh, what well, he been to two Super Bowls. I believe, I believe, yeah, he been to two Super Bowls. Yeah, he been to two Super Bowls, one one, and um, I don't believe he want to step back either. You know what I'm saying? He might, he might actually resign with the Kansas City Chiefs. Who knows? Yeah. Uh. Any anybody you see? We already talked about Gronkowski, <laughs> right? Yeah, you could call it. Get, it's getting a little blurry. I can't really see the names like that. What about now? Oh, yeah, it cleared up. What about Derek Barnett? Nah, man, you crossed him out, man. He, he we just released him. Wait, yeah, 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 because he, yeah, yeah, he was. He, he was, was wild yeah, with the penalties, man. Yeah, he cost yeah, a bad yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not saying that he trashed, but he cost us bad game. A lot man. of games, just just doing dumb stuff, like yeah, man. Like I had to think about that. And we we gonna wrap it up with with with, with just this right here. Um, uh, Marquez Valdez Scantlin, you know, he he's available. He's he's a real competent uh wide receiver. I'm not saying he's the best, but he's real competent. DJ Chalk, uh, I'd rather get DJ Chalk Chalk than Mal, uh Marquez Valdez Scantlin if we were to like uh uh pick up a free agent. And that's about it, man. Let me let, let me stop sharing the screen, man. So yeah, man. Um thank you for uh coming in. You know, you know what I mean. Thank you for coming into the hype fan eagle. Joint, you feel what I'm saying? Thank you all for tuning in, man. Please like and subscribe down below. Please leave your comments down below. Y'all already know, man. I love to chat with y'all and everything like that, man. Listen, the views is going up, man. Please share this, man. The views is going up. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm surprised the views going up. I ain't surprised, but I'm surprised because, you know, we put in work. Also, man, uh, if you want to be a part of this, man, just let me know, man. Download Zoom. Let me know, man. You could be a part of this. You know what I mean? We could all, we could all get into a debate. Whoever you are, you feel what I'm saying? Um, just let me know your information. You can hit me up either on my Twitter page, which I will put down below, or, you know, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I appreciate y'all. Let me know what y'all like. Let me know if y'all like my new intro. It's going to be a new intro at the beginning of this video. Now, I mean, I, I had to pay for a spicy intro. You feel what I'm saying? I had to pay for the intro. So let me know if y'all like the intro. You dig what I'm saying? I really appreciate y'all viewing this, man, taking the time out. The viewers, you know what I mean? Even if it's for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes. I appreciate all the minutes that y'all viewed this, man. You already know, man. Bird Gang, 